Why is my spy point camera not sending photos from the field? Hey everybody, we're going to talk about what to do if you've got a camera in the field that's stopped transmitting photos. So if your, if your spy point camera isn't transmitting photos from the field, what can you do to try to get that situation resolved without actually visiting the camera? The first thing we need to double check is make sure that you haven't reached your photo transmission limit for the month. If you're using the free 100 or the paid 250 or 1000 uh, plan for the photo transmission plans, once you reach those limits, you're not going to get images sent to the app anymore. So double check, make sure that you haven't reached your photo threshold. You can always upgrade your plan, but if you've reached the photo threshold, that camera is still taking pictures, but it's not going to be sending them to servers so that you can see them in the app. The other thing to double check is, is the camera still communicating? If it's communicating and not sending photos, it's possible it's just a quiet time in front of your camera. So you can go into settings, cellular setup, and request that a photo be sent at the next uh, communication time. So by doing that, the camera's gonna take a picture and then upload that to the server. So if that comes through, you're, you're good to go. It was probably just a quiet time in front of the camera. I know we always think there's something out there. Sometimes there just isn't. Now one thing to note is if you've got it set on every detection, it's going to be a good idea to switch that to a more frequent transfer setting so that it's 6 times a day, 12 times a day, and that's just going to make sure that that image gets sent through to the servers uh, even quicker. The next thing we need to think about is battery status. Once the battery status gets below 20% especially, battery drain can happen really quick. With lithiums, it doesn't even need to get that low before the battery drain really starts to show up. Consider that. If your battery is low but not out, it's possible that between transfers, those batteries have died and you need to get out to the field and replace those. The last thing we need to consider is signal quality. You know, if you're in a spotty signal area, it's possible that it's just not good enough quality signal to get the images out. You know, we always recommend three bars and a green LED to make sure those photos are coming out. So if you're in an area where you're seeing that signal fluctuate in your app on the on your camera's homepage, you're seeing that signal maybe not be where you'd like it to be, you might want to consider adding a CAO1 signal booster. You also just might want to watch the, uh, the video we did about maximizing your signal quality. As an absolute last resort, you can go into your mobile or web app and you can do a factory default setting restore on that camera and kind of, kind of reboot the camera. Just take it back to factory defaults and see if you can get that camera up and going. As always, for more helpful and informative videos like this, visit spypoint.com support.